Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network today via tape delay from Beaner Baseball Field. Here in Hutchinson, it's Hark Youth Baseball in the Major League Division, the Athletics, and the Dodgers. Hi, everybody. I'm Nick Barcheck with Jerry Dupain. We welcome you aboard for this evening's game. The South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a Joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiff, Power, Rick Fernan, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with Gary Smith. I'm Nick Barcheck with Jerry Dupay in the starting lineups, and soon the game's first pitch coming up from Hutchinson. It's baseball time. The Athletics and the Dodgers on the way on the South Union Township Sports Network. <laughs> Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. If you've been injured on the job, you'll want a local attorney you can trust. The attorneys at Davis & Davis live and work right here, representing injured workers for over 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis.
baseball time. The first pitch about to be thrown. The Athletics on the field first, and Josh Johnston at the plate for the Dodgers. 0-1 to begin the game. On the mound, the right-hander Alex Edwards, number eight. Edwards versus Johnston. Then it's Tommy Harisisi with Connor Hebda to follow, and then Sevi Vecchiola to strikes on Johnston. Beautiful night for baseball. A little bit of a breeze. No threat of rain. Perfect night for the A's and the Dodgers. And the two-strike offering is strike three called. Got the pitch up in the zone. And Edwards gets the call one away. Striking out his mound opponent. Here's Tommy Harasissi. Second baseman, number four. Then it's Connor Hebta, Sevi Vecchiola, Jacob Kalich, Braden Tangla Levich, Caden Pegg, Gio Guerrer, and Josh Reed. For the A's defensively, it is the pitcher, Alex Edwards, trip sharp behind the play, the infield, CJ Colgan at first, at second, Denver Workman, Case and Lindsay at short, at third. It is James Williams, the outfield and left, Mark Ellsworth in center, Jake Jones in right, J.J. Johnson. Off to the right, foul. <clears throat> Just got a piece, did here a sissy to stay alive. One out, nobody on, no score. And he wore that one. That's got to hurt. Looks to be all right, though. Gets the fist bump from Johnston. I'll make that Edwards. Johnston, the game's first out. Now, here is Sissy hit by the pitch, and he gets to wear that one. He left seams in the morning. Runner on, one out for Connor Hebda, the third baseman. Number three, that one in, heading down for second. The throw is in, and an out call. A late out call, but that goes 2-6. Good job by Trip Sharp to connect with Case and Lindsay for the put out. Here, Sissy retired, two out. So now two outs on the bases clear, no score in the first. Pitch on the way to Hebda. Three oh. Now the green light. Good to have baseball back here at Beaner Field. The A's and the Dodgers, the nightcap this evening. Now full count on Hebda. Edwards looks to in the top half of the first. Smoked. Up the middle for a base hit, a two out, two strike single. Solidly struck up the middle by Hebda, and he's aboard with the game's first hit. Clean up hitter, Sevi Vecchiola, the shortstop. Number 10. Runner on two out, outside. Hebda stays at first. Well, 
See if the Dodgers have a two-out rally in them. This one popped up in the center. And the play will be made. Fine catch in center field by Jake Jones with one hand. Showing off there, Jones retires the side and no runs a hit. A hit batter, a strikeout, one left. We go to the bottom of the first. And we have no score. The Dodgers nothing in the ace coming to bat. More baseball on the way after this from Beaner Field on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard earned money, you want service, real service from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank at your service. Esophageal reflux affects 20% of Americans and can lead to heartburn, regurgitation, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. Reflux is caused by stomach contents passing a faulty valve and entering the esophagus. Ulcers and precancerous tissue can then form. Offer the latest testing and treatment for reflux disease. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Bottom of the first, the Dodgers are nothing, and the ace coming to bat. The right-hander on the mound for the Dodgers, Josh Johnston. And the A's lineup looks like this. Leading off second baseman, Denver Workman. Then the pitcher, Alex Edwards. Number three spot, Trip Sharp, the catcher. Cleanup spot, Case and Lindsay, the shortstop. J.J. Johnson hitting fifth, the right fielder. James Williams hitting sixth, the third baseman. Jake Jones, center fielder. C.J. Colgan hits eighth at first, the left fielder. Rounding out the A's lineup is Mark Ellsworth. On the mound for the Dodgers, Josh Johnston. It's catcher is Josh Reed. The infield at first, Jacob Kalich. At second, Tommy Hirasisi. The shortstop, the shortstop, excuse me, is Sevi Vecchiola. Connor Hebd at third. The outfield is Caden Pegg in left. Gio Guerrero in center. And in right, it is Braden Tanklalevich. Now we have that taken care of. We can start with the bottom half of the first. No score. Johnston faces Workman, the leadoff hitting second baseman. One and oh. Saw some nice defensive plays out of the A's in the top half of the first. See if the Dodgers can equal that task. Slow roller to second. Here's Sissy on the first and gets some good hustle by Workman, but play made 4-3, one away to bring up Alex Edwards, the pitcher. So Workman making contact, but he is retired. Johnston faces his mountain opponent, Edwards. Waggling that bat around. Smacks it and caught. Barely had to move there at third. Did Connor Hebda. Went right to him, two out. Pretty easy plays defensively for the Dodgers. Two outs for Trip Sharp, the catcher. If Sharp reaches, Case and Lindsay would come up. Johnston getting the first two outs pretty easily and now behind 2-0. Little roller left side, Hebda. And beating it out for the infield hit is Sharp. 
Ball gets away, Sharp hesitating, now he's gonna go to second, here comes the throw, and he's out. The hesitation cost Sharp there, it'll go as an infield hit, but he's out on the relay. In the second, Sharp tagged out, so no runs on a hit, none left, and we've played an inning, we go to the second, Dodgers nothing, Athletics nothing. Second inning on the way next on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. Top of the second, no score, Dodgers and the A's. No runs a hit for the Dodgers. No runs a hit for the A's. This one chopped right side. Should be an easy play on her hand toss. 4-3 goes the put out. Fine play made by Denver Workman. Good defense in this one. Jacob Kalich is retired. On the ground out to Workman, one away. 4-3 put out, one out for Braden Tanklalevich. Right fielder, number nine. Owen oh, one. Edwards pours it in. Count even. Got the call on the inside part of the plate and it was up but Edwards gets the benefit of the doubt it's one and two now on Tanglelevich she's ahead and strike three called so a good job by Edwards after he got the questionable call there <clears throat> and then strikes out Tanglelevich looking two out that's Edwards second strike and now two away for Caden Pegg the left fielder and big cut 0-1 for number seven Number seven hitter in the Dodger lineup. This one on the ground, left side. That's going to sneak through for a base hit. And a two-out single to left for Peg. Keeps the rally going. Second Dodger hit. <laughs> Brings up Gio Guerrero, the center fielder, who looks to get the Dodgers on the board after Peg got the hit. of the Dodger hits coming with two out. Edwards ready to go. Cutting a miss, heading down for second is Peg to throw down out in time and he's in a second with two strikes and two outs. Count even. Count now 
now full as Edwards looks to get out of this one. And a light swing and a miss, and that's the inning. Strikeout number three, the second of the second inning for Edwards. No runs on a hit. Two strikeouts, a stolen base, and a man left. And after an inning and a half, we go to the bottom of the second. Dodgers nothing and the A's nothing. More baseball from Beaner Field at Hutchinson on the way after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Many people unknowingly have chronic liver disease and discover it during routine blood testing. Possible causes include alcohol, hepatitis C, fatty liver, and iron overload. If left unchecked, this can lead to cirrhosis or severe liver scar. Offer the latest testing and treatment for chronic liver disease. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Ready for the bottom half of the second. The Dodgers nothing in the Athletics nothing with Case and Lindsay coming up the shortstop for the A's, the cleanup hitter. Josh Johnston on the mound for the second inning. This one grounded left side. Over to short, Vecchiola. And safe. Another hesitation on the call there and an infield single for Lindsay to lead off the second. Legging it out, second hit for the A's. Vecchiola fielded it cleanly and a good throw, but beating it out was Lindsay, and it brings up the right fielder, J.J. Johnson. Triple J. Down to second goes Lindsay, and now the A's have a runner in scoring position with nobody out. Baseball for Johnston. So it's Josh Johnston versus J.J. Johnson. A lot of J's in this matchup. Right side to his right here is Sessi. Knocks it down. Throw to first. Safe. And now heading for home is Lindsay. And he will score standing up to make it one nothing A's in the second. So runner at first. Nobody out on a run home. Give Johnson a hit. And the A's are rolling now with James Williams coming up. Oh, and one. So the A's strike first and the second. Pleasant evening, sun down now. This one up in the air in a shallow left center. Gonna drop down for a hit. And the A's are rolling, a third straight hit to start the inning. Nobody out. First and second for Jake Jones. From J.J. to James to Jake. Facing Josh Johnston. Blooper. And we'll see if the blast is coming up here for the A's. Jones with the black and gold bat. Going with his gold and green athletics jersey. Runners will advance, heading down to third is Johnson. And down to second is Williams, second and third, nobody out. Jones will try to see if he can drop one down to that big gap in left center. Change the scoreboard. 
And that's a walk and the base runners keep on going for the A's. Base is low to no out for C.J. Colgan, the first baseman, number eight hitter. Nowhere to put, nowhere to put Colgan. One oh. Smoked in the right field. That's going to get down for a base knock. One will score. Rounding third is Williams. Jones will head in a third. And a pair driven in by Colgan on the base knock to right to make it three nothing. Two run single for Colgan. First and third, no outs. Three nothing A's in the second. And it brings on Mark Ellsworth. The left fielder looks to join the hit parade. 0 and 1. Colgan has an easy trip down to second. Still nobody out. Breaking for home is Jones, the play at the plate. He's out. 2-1 goes the put out. As Jones caught at home trying to get there on the wild pitch. As Reed flips it to Johnston, 2-1 for the first out of the inning. Colgan at third, now one away. Ellsworth of the plate, Colgan will hold up. 3 nothing A's in the second. and they're at the corners with one out. Top of the order, Denver Workman. He grounded out to second last inning and now the seventh batter to hit for the A's in the inning. First and third, one out, second inning, three nothing. 0 and one on Workman. Down to second goes Ellsworth. The A's went down pretty easy in the first and having their way now in the second. Kalich at first. Wins the foot race. Will he go home? He won't. Another run comes home. 4 nothing. RBI ground out for Workman. Two out. Ellsworth the third. One and O to Edwards. Right now, if things keep on going like they are, he'll be in line for the win. Oh, 
That was worth off of third, two out, second inning, four nothing A's. All four scored this inning on four hits. First and third, two outs as Edwards has walked and the A's have batted around. Here's Trip Sharp, the first baseman. Make that the catcher, excuse me, singled. So the one B on the card, and uh, that means single. He did on the first. Edwards to second. So not the easiest inning for the Dodgers and Johnston, but not an insurmountable deficit. 4 nothing in the second. Plenty of time to get those runs back, but would like to strand these two. Sharp gives Johnston a break there. Two strikes on Sharp, the ninth batter to hit the inning for the A's. Second and third, two out. Big one on the way, 3-2-2, two, two, Sharp. Caught and a miss, and that's the inning. Nine come up. But four come home on four hits and two stranded. We've played two. We go to the third. Athletics four, Dodgers nothing. More baseball from Hutchinson after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting-edge and cost-effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis.
Third inning about to begin. Edwards to deliver to Josh Reed. 0-1. Athletic scoring four in the second to take a 4-0 lead. Reed on the top of the order. Johnston and Hirasissi. Reed golfing at that one for the second strike. The neon green knob on the bat wagging around and that one's low. to read. Lead off walk. Yep, Reed gets first base. Throw that bat away. Lead off walk. First walk given up by Edwards. Top of the order, Josh Johnston. He struck out looking in the first. Dodgers down four in the third. Down the second goes Reed and Sharp. Not able to make the throw down. Johnston late. Late again. Counts even on the leadoff hitter. Pitcher trying to help his cause and get back in this one. Runner at second, nobody out. He's up four. count. Another walk. That one just off the plate and two walks to start the inning. It was off the plate enough for it to be called ball four and we have first and second, nobody out. Tommy here, Sissy, with the opportunity now, the second baseman. He was hit by a pitch in the first and was thrown out trying to advance on a wild pitch. Kick in to come home from Edwards. And down goes Hirasissi. Quick strikeout there. Two walks and a strikeout. No one's made contact yet here in the third. And Connor Hebda comes up. He's singled and was stranded back in the first. One oh inside corner one and one. Lights on here at Beaner Field. Sharp trying to frame that one to no avail. Got a piece. Sharp's all right. Two on Hebda. Two 
took a lot off that one, and he fooled Hebda. That's a strikeout indeed. Reed didn't want to walk earlier, and Hebda didn't want to go back to the dugout after strike three. Sometimes I don't know the count, and I'm calling the game, so I can't blame the kids. Two outs, a couple of strikeouts, a couple of walks. No one's put the ball in play for a while, and Sylvie Vecchiola flew out to center in the first. Reed holds at second. Edwards offering in the air to right and off to the fence Reed will score we'll see about Johnston he's coming home Vecchiola is heading for the plate the plate the plate score standing up three run inside the parker for Vecchiola and it's a one run game in the third send that shot to right over the head of Johnson roll to the fence and Vecchiola able to score. Plating Reed and Johnston. All with two outs. So a three run shot for Vecchiola. Now we have a ball game with Jacob Kalich up. He grounded out a second in the second. to the backstop. All of a sudden, a one-run game. Edwards getting that bottom part of the strike zone. Kalich not happy, and the first baseman steps back in. Two-out walk. Third walk of the inning keeps the frame alive for Braden Tanklalevich. He struck out his first time. Athletics four, Dodgers three in the third. Foul ball right side. Tanklalevich getting down for that one. In the air to right. That one's going to get down. The Dodgers like to go the other way. Heading for second is Tank Lilevich. Here comes the relay. He's in standing up and holding it third is Kalich. And the Dodgers keep their two out rallying going with a double to right for Tank Lilevich. Second and third, two away. And the Dodgers now have sent eight to the plate. Now meeting on the mound with... Coach and pitcher is Wes Edwards will talk with Alex Edwards. Try to calm him down here after two walks, two strikeouts, then the three run inside the parker to right for Vecchiola. Walked Kalich and then Tank Levich with a double to right. Oh. 
brings up Peg. Second and third, two out, third inning, Dodgers batting, trailing the ace, 4-3, tying run at third. Cutting the mess. Inside, off to the fence. No one's going anywhere. The Dodgers have some activity in their de facto bullpen down there. Off to the left. Looks like Vecchiola, Vecchiola throwing with somebody and that's a base knock up the middle. Tie game, the Dodgers could take the lead and they will coming home and scoring with ease is Tangalevich. A big knock for Peg and the Dodgers are in front. Two run hit for Peg, he's two for two. 5-4 Dodgers in the third inning. Runner at first, two out, and each team has hit around their last time up. The A's in the second. Now here in the third, the Dodgers with Gio Guerrero, and down the second is Peg. Edwards. Too high to Guerrero. Three balls, one strike. Now the upper part of the zone, a friend uh, Edwards as he gets the call. Ninth Dodger up and they have taken the one run lead with a crooked number. Strike three called, and that ends the inning, but five runs come home, nine batters come up, and we have a ball game now, an offensive explosion, nine runs the last inning combined between the two half innings, and we go to the bottom of the third, Dodgers five, Athletics four. The A's look to get back in, in front when we come back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Bottom of the third, Dodgers five, Athletics four. New pitcher for the Dodgers. Tommy Harasissi with Johnston out of second on the first pitch is Scott out of play. No vehicles damaged in the making of that foul ball. Case and Lindsay up the shortstop, hitting fourth in the lineup. He singled and scored 
last inning. Dodgers with five in the third. The Athletics with four in the second. 5-4 in the bottom of the third. a miss and with a smile on his face Lindsay is down on strikes one away for JJ Johnson he singled and scored in the second part of a four run four hit inning for the A's one away for the right fielder now the one he wanted 0 and 1 Johnson eager to hit there Little roller, easy tag out there. They said he missed him. A safe call, as they say. Here, Sissy did not make the tag. Looked like he did, but apparently not. And somehow Johnson able to squeak out of that one. Now the umpire is going to talk it over. It looked like that Johnson was tagged. And they're going to call out of the baseline. Looked like he was tagged out anyway. And now they reverse the call and say out of the baseline, so Johnson is out. So the umpire's getting together there and reversing it, so two outs, nobody on. Brings up James Williams. Single and a run. Chatter in the A's dugout as Williams swings through that one. Popped up, anyone? And again, disaster averted. Dodgers up a run in the third. walk. Williams on for the second time and the center fielder coming up Jake Jones. He walked in the second tried to score on a wild pitch when he was at third and was thrown out. Jones up with two out and one on. 0 and 1. Williams, pretty easy track in the second, throw down inconsequential. <laughs> Left center, and that gets down. Vecchiola couldn't get to it. Stopping at third is Williams. And a base knock for Jones with two out. There are the corners for C.J. Cogan. Two 
two runs single and a run scored for Colgan in the second. Had a base knock in the right. Tying run at third. Oh and one. Two strikes on Colgan. There's Sissy looking to get out of the inning and just getting a piece of Colgan to keep the frame going. Everyone freezing on that one, thought maybe strike three would be called, but not to be. One, two on the way. Vecchiola dropped it first. The run scores, tie game. And where the corners with two out, the A's take advantage of the miscue and tie it up. No RBI, but they'll take it. Williams scores, Jones to third, first and third, two out for Mark Ellsworth with the game knotted up at five in the third. Ellsworth in the hole. He walked and was stranded back in the second. And that's the inning. A run on a hit, an error, a walk, and a man left two of them actually, and we're tied now with the game going to the fourth. We have a ball game, Dodgers five, Athletics five after three here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health.
New pitcher for the A's, the right-hander, number five, Case and Lindsay. The new shortstop is Alex Edwards. Edwards done after three. We're tied at five in the fourth. And the batter is Josh Reed. He walked and scored last inning. The catcher, 9-1-2 hitters for the Dodgers. takes the high strike. I think Reed wants that one back. Really golfed after that one and came up empty for the second strike. The count's even. Probably wants that one back too. First out of the inning. Strikeout for Lindsay. His first batter is a K. And top of the order, Josh Johnston, who has a strikeout on a walk and a run tonight. Johnston started on the mound and moved to second. Next run could be the winner. 5 0 in the fourth. Lindsay's ahead of Johnston. Cats even. Johnston. Top of the order, third time through the Dodger lineup. Scored five in the third, the Athletics with four in the second, one in the third. Too far in for a one-out walk, and Johnston's on with the go-ahead run for Tommy Hirasisi, who has a strikeout and a hit batsman on the car tonight, was at second, now moved to the mound, last inning. Johnston heading for second. He'll be in without a throw. Go ahead, run in scoring position for the boys in blue. Just off the plate. Up and in. Back to back walks now with the strikeout to begin the inning. Now two walks in a row. Lindsay in trouble with the Dodgers now threatening. It's Connor Hebda. One for two with a single.
Plays over at third for the Athletics. Infield, that one a rocket to right. It's going to get down for a base knock. It's going to go to the fence. Rounding third, heading for home is Johnston. The Dodgers take the lead. Here is Sissy's going to round third. It's cut off. The tag at second. Inconsequential two-run score on the knock for Hebda. It's a two-run double, and the Dodgers back in front now. Seven to five in the fourth. Now Vecchiola drove in three with one swing of the bat in the third in South Parker. Dodgers up two in the fourth. On the ground, past the third baseman. In the left field, going to roll to the fence. And the Dodgers will take advantage. is going to score. Vecchiola's going to make a big turn around second to get back. And the Dodgers lead by three, eight to five. So Williams couldn't handle it, and it got all the way to the fence. And the Dodgers extend their lead. Runner at second, one away for Kayla. She has a walk and a run. Right, Low and away. First inning on the mound for Lindsay and Started off well with a strikeout, then he walked two in a row and has given up a couple of extra base hits to Hebden and Vecchiola. The Dodgers up 8-5 in the fourth. Lindsay's offering on the ground is short. 6-3 goes the put out, play at the plate, and Vecchiola's in as the throw gets away. And the Dodgers have another run, their fourth of the inning, going up 9-5. So Edwards made the play, but the throw home from Colgan not to be, and the Dodgers extend their lead 9-5. Now base is clear, two out for Tank Lelevich. She's doubled and scored. Dodgers plating five, last inning now four. So far in the fourth. After we had a scoreless frame in the first, the Athletics put up four in the second and a two-out walk to Tangla Levich. Puts a runner at first and two out now. The Dodgers set up nine last inning. The eighth batter of the inning is here with Peg. He singled twice and has two RBIs. Joss got a piece. Sharp, I think, wanted an out there. <laughs> Who can blame him? I think he's just, his knees hurt. <laughs> That's pretty good. Just a strike, young man. Strike two.
Lindsay just needs one more to get out of the gym. Strike three called, and nobody was on when the inning ended, but eight came up, and the Dodgers score four after scoring five last inning, and after three and a half, it is the Dodgers nine, the Athletics five. More baseball on the way after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. If you've been injured on the job, you'll want a local attorney you can trust. The attorneys at Davis & Davis live and work right here, representing injured workers for over 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. Cut and a miss to begin the bottom of the fourth. The Dodgers nine, Athletics five. Top of the order, Denver Workman. Couple of ground outs, one of them for an RBI. The 0-1. Two on Workman. As the A's look to get back, Dodgers five in the third, four in the fourth. The Athletics four in the second, one in the third. Popped up. Who has it? It's going to drop. No one called it. On the left side of the infield, Hebdo over there along with Vecchiola. And here is Sissy the pitcher. It's going to drop and Workman's aboard. Alex Edwards has a triple in this one and a line out. Start of the game at the on the mound. Now he's at short. Pass second in the center. That one bounces over the glove of Johnston, first and second quickly, nobody out. Trip Sharp now has a big opportunity, had a single in the first. As now the tying run is what on deck for the A's. Go ahead and run in the hole, nobody out. They're swinging here, is this one coming our way? It's actually off the pole and back onto the field of play. I don't think I've ever seen that. Denver, 
Just like that, we're back to action inside. Well, the runners advance, now they have to. Little hesitation, throw down. Gets past Hebden to left. Workman is not gonna go. Wes Edwards at first not happy and looked like Workman should have gone. Second and third now, nobody out. This one popped up. Foul ground, foul ball. Here are Sissy and Kalich giving it a look. Strike three called and one away. First out for the Dodgers defensively and now one away for Lindsay. Single and a run on the second. Line in a left base hit. One will score. Edwards gonna round and touch home plate easily. Two run hit for Lindsay makes a nine, seven Dodgers. Lindsay has a second hit. Dodgers up two in the fourth, one on, one out for J.J. Johnson. Now Lindsay in scoring position. Hebda gets past him. Lindsay to third. He's gonna score as the throw goes in a short play of the play, close, but it gets past the catcher and the run will score nine to eight as Reed couldn't handle it. Now runner at second, one out, nine to eight Dodgers. Tying run at second for James Williams who's been on base twice and scored two times. 0-1. Home plate certainly needs a dusting. He's barehanding it. Must not have his little tool. His sweeper. We've had plenty of offense since the first inning went scoreless. Nine to eight Dodgers in the fourth. Let's go, James. Foul ground left side. Williams down for the count, two out. Hey, good cut, good cut. Jake Jones, the last hope for the ace this inning. Down a run. Johnson holds it second, a single and a walk for Jones tonight. A's with three in the inning, three runs. Off the chest and reaching on an infield hit is Jones. Runner down a third is that one off the chest of Johnston. They keep it going to the A's. First and third, two out. The tying run at third for C.J. Colgan, who is a two-run single tonight. Oh and one. Oh. 
Jones down to second. No one even really noticed. Second and third, two out. Colgan staying alive. Two strikes on him still. That's the inning. Striking out the side is here a sissy, but runs come home. Three of them for the A's, and we have a ball game. Still a one-run game for the Dodgers as we Go to the fifth, the Dodgers nine, Athletics eight, and more baseball from Beaner Field and Hutchinson on the way after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebley, Mahalov & White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebley, Mahalov & White. Dodgers 9, Athletics 8, 5th inning is here. 0-1 oh, as we begin the inning. Gio Greer, the center fielder, is up for the Dodgers. And still on the mound is Case and Lindsay. Another inning of relief work. down easily and Lindsay will take that out and now face Josh Reed who walked and scored his first time up and then was retired last inning bottom of the Dodger order night time at Beaner Field and Hutchinson the bugs are dancing here in front of me Looks like everyone's all right. I think both umpire and catcher cut some of that one off the bat of Reed. Two out. A couple of swinging strikeouts and 
Just the start that Lindsay won into the fifth. Two away, and the batter is the top of the order. Leadoff man Josh Johnston. Couple of walks, couple of runs. He's in the hole 0 and 1. Up in the air, does anyone have it? Charging in is Lindsay, almost made the play. Foul ball, what an effort by Lindsay to charge in. Sharp never had a shot at it, it was Lindsay's. And those pants are caked in dirt now. That's a sign that you played a ball game tonight and Lindsay wearing that one. In. Third walk for Johnston tonight. He's been on base three times via the base on balls and a two out walk for Lindsay. Lindsay gives it up and now it's Tommy Harrisissi with his fourth at bat. Fourth, uh, fourth time, excuse me, through the Dodger lineup. Throw down. Safe. Johnston's in, charging in from short was Edwards. Throw on the money by Sharp. Runner at second, out two out. The Dodgers up a run on the fifth. And a miss. Sharp finds it. Johnson holding it second. Here, Sissy is ahead now. Got the low strike. Lindsay breathing a sigh of relief. Runner at second, two out. Strike three called. Lindsay gets out of it, strikes out the side, works around the Two out walk, no runs, no hits, three strikeouts, a walk, one left. After four and a half, Dodgers nine, Athletics eight. More on the way after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Bottom of the fifth, sixth inning game, sixth inning game, so the Athletics 
Need to get something going here. Two more at bats, down nine to eight. Sevi Vecchiola now on the mound for the Dodgers, facing Mark Ellsworth, who has a walk in this one. 0 for 1. Count to Ellsworth on the top of the order on deck, Workman. He's down a run, two more at bats. And a strike three called on the outside corner. One away for Workman. Ground outs and RBI and a run scored as Workman just got a piece of that one. <laughs> Little tardy to the party. Workman's ahead. Didn't go. One out walk. Tying run at first. Go ahead, run at the dish. And that's Alex Edwards, who has a triple, a single, and a run. Lined out a third. Start of the game on the mound. Now it's short. Doesn't like that one. Number three hitter on deck, Sharp. Angry swing from Edwards trying to avenge that last one. Vecchiola still ahead. Dodgers nine, Athletics eight, fifth inning. Runner on one out, two strikes on the hitter Edwards. Guess I got a piece of that one. Stay alive. You hit his glove with the bat? <laughs> Question of maybe interference there. It was not a foul ball. Did not make contact. They call a foul ball. Glad we got that straight now. Strike three called, another one for Vecchiola. Another backward K, two out now for Sharp. Athletics down to their final four outs. Sharp had a single to right in the first. Two strikes on Sharp. Let's go, 
Runner on two out. Too low. Cotton a miss and that is the frame. Vecchiola strikes out the side. No runs, no hits. A walk, three strikeouts, one left. We go to the six. Dodgers, nine, Athletics, eight. More on the way after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. Sixth inning upon us, the Dodgers nine, the Athletics eight. The Athletics down a run, need a run in the bottom half to keep it going, but they have to hold the Dodgers here. And the batter is Connor Hebda, who has a single, a double, two RBIs and a run. Good night for him, the kick in the come home. 0-1, the new pitcher for the A's is James Williams. Inside to get him, yep. Second hit batter of the game. Run around, nobody out for Vecchiola. Five RBI game for Vecchiola. He's driven in over half of his team's runs tonight. Coming my way. Jerry got it. I thought it was in trouble there. Rest assured, everyone, I'm all right. So is Jerry. Close call, though. Smacked in the air to center. Back towards the fence. Is that going to stay in the park? It will off the fence. Rounding second, heading for third is Hebda. Now going to second, and Vecchiola should have been out by a mile, but I think Williams was caught up in everything going on there, and all of a sudden it's second and third, nobody out. Vecchiola, that ball, I think, hit the fence flush. Out there to dead center pretty much, and it's second and third, nobody out for Kalich. Dodgers trying to add on up one here in the last inning of regulation. Kalich with a walk and a run tonight, a couple of ground outs. Williams delivers. Alex Edwards behind the plate now, by the way, for the A's. Sharp put in a long night back there. Oh, 
too low. Double for Vecchiola and a hit batter Hebda gets the third on the double. Nobody out, second and third. Over to first, three unassisted. Another run comes home to make it 10-8. Play made by Colgan, one out. RBI though for Kalich and it's 10-8 with a runner at third, one out. Tank Lelevich has a double and a run and he walked. Smacks that to right, and that is a fair ball. Another RBI, Vecchiola scores. Tanglelevich will round second, and the ball is stuck in the fence, apparently. That'll be a ground rule double. If it gets stuck in the fence, it's a ground rule double. If it bounces over, it's a book rule double. It's an old lesson from Lanny. Runner at second, one out. So I don't think that ball bounced over. It didn't have a view of it. I think it just got stuck. So that's a ground rule double officially. Bug on a rug. That's right. The gunner. Chicken on the hill. Runner at second. One out as Tank Levich dances off the bag. Pig is up with a couple of RBIs and a couple of singles tonight. Dodgers up two in the sixth. I think that three, it should be 11 to eight. Down a third. And Tank Lilevich will come home to score. Standing up. Third run of the inning. That'll make it 12 eight. One out and nobody on. Two outs, pegged down on strikes. Center fielder Gio Guerrero coming up. That one hurts. That's a way to get on base. Career's first trip to first gets hit. It'll be a nice welt in the morning. Run around two out for Reed. Side, Colgan can't make the play. Oh. 
Hogan almost had it, just rolled out. Jerry's saying he should have used two hands. You know, fundamentals, Jerry, it's, they don't teach him anymore. <laughs> Cutting a miss, and that is the inning. At least on my card, now they run off. Three runs come home, and the Athletics down four. They have one last gasp. It's the bottom of the six, Dodgers 12, Athletics 8. More on the way after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. Athletics need four runs to keep it going. Five to win it down 12-8, bottom of the sixth. The Dodgers have Ecciola on the mound against Case and Lindsay, then J.J. Johnson and James Williams. Lindsay's ahead, three and one. Lead off walk. So the A's get the lead off man alive. That's all you can do. And now with one on and nobody out, it's JJ Johnson who has a couple of singles. Oh for one. Down the second goes Lindsay. Two strikes on Johnson. Dodgers up four in the sixth. Last a chance for the Athletics. Firing that off the fences, Johnson. One away. Down the third goes Lindsay. Big league game, you would have to get that out at first, but batter automatically out on strike three. One away for Williams. 0 oh and 1. Two outs just like that after the leadoff walk. Williams goes down two away. Now the last hope for the A's is Jake Jones. Hey, come on now. 
And he's down to their final strike. Strike three call, that's the ball game. Vecchiola works around the leadoff walk to strike out the side. And that'll do it. No runs, no hits. One left to walk, three strikeouts, and that's the ball game. Your final score, the Dodgers 12 and the Athletics 8. Tonight's game was brought to as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiff, Power, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, Gary Smith, and their staff. I'm Nick Barczyk with Jerry Dupay. This has been a presentation of the South Union Township Sports Network. Again, your final score of this Hark Youth Baseball game in the Major League Division from Beaner Field and Hutchinson. It's the Dodgers 12 and the Athletics 8 on the South Union Township Sports Network. Good night, everyone.